Hello there, I'm Di Coke from Super Lucky and this is a guide to how you can change an online shopping receipt into an image file so you can upload it to enter purchase necessary competitions. Now these are competitions where you need to prove that you bought a certain product in order to enter a competition. So you might need to upload the receipt before you enter the competition or it could be that you've won a prize and the promoter wants to just check that you actually bought the product. Now it's easy if you've been to the supermarket and you've got a paper receipt because you just take a photo of that and then you've got it, it's easy to email, it's easy to upload to an entry form. But if you do online shopping, you might receive your receipt by email. So it's either a PDF attached to an email or it's actually within the text of the email. And that makes it harder to create the image file. So this little video is gonna show you how you can convert that email receipt into a JPEG file, which you can then upload to entry forms. In particular, I'm thinking of Tesco competitions um, because for some competitions you can use a PDF file and you can send that to an entry form or upload it, but for Tesco, it has to be a JPEG. It has to be a single photo file and this guide is gonna show you how to do that. Um, I do need to apologize because I realized just after I'd finished editing it, that the example I chose, I was actually using a Tesco order confirmation rather than an actual Tesco receipt. I don't do online shopping, so I just hadn't realized this at all until I edited it and I thought, oh, I've used the wrong email. So don't make that mistake. Make sure that you're actually creating a JPEG file from your Tesco receipt email. I hope this all makes sense. If you don't have an Apple Mac or an iPhone and the instructions are a bit different for you, do check the captions because I've linked to a blog post where I've explained things in more detail for Android and Windows devices too. But ask me any questions and I will hopefully be able to answer them in the comments too. And if you like the sound of purchase necessary competitions, just to let you know, they have amazing prizes. Just this year, I've won a holiday to New York. I've won a trip to the Euros football with a thousand pound cash, um, 200 pound Tesco vouchers, um, a TV and soundbar system, all from buying certain products in supermarkets and keeping hold of that receipt and sending it off when I need to. Um, it's a really, really lucrative form of comping. And if you're interested in that and you wanna join my Lucky Legends forum, you'll get access to the Compass shopping list, which lists around 100 purchase necessary competitions that you can have a go at. I'll leave that link in the captions too. Good luck with your comping and your receipt converting. The first job is to change an email receipt into a PDF file. So I've got a Tesco receipt here, which is sent in the body of an email, as you can see. And what you need to do is turn this into a PDF. And to do that, you need to print it. So I'm on an Apple Mac and the print icon is up at the top, um, but you can also command P to print. So when you do this, you wanna change this from your printer, if you've got a printer and you want to print to a PDF. So on a Mac, it's down at the bottom here. You click on PDF, save as PDF. And that means it's gonna save the file rather than send it to your printer. Um, so you can rename it if you want to. I'm just gonna rename it Tesco and save it in my downloads. So here's the PDF file in my downloads. If I double click that, um, you can see that this is a multiple page PDF. We've got six pages of information here. Uh, we want to turn this into one JPEG file. We don't want to turn it into six JPEGs. That's what a lot of tools will do. So we want to turn it into one really long JPEG file. So I'm going to close that PDF down. And now we're going to go to Chrome and we're going to go to this website, which is called Work in Tool. They offer an option to convert them into a single JPEG instead of six JPEGs. However, if you go to the menu, Online Tools, it doesn't actually have that in here. It's got PDF to JPEG, but that's going to give you separate images. Um, so what I've done is I've actually created a short link to get to the tool that we need, which is bit.ly slash PDF JPEG, and that takes you to here. PDF to long image. I'll leave the link in the caption too. When you get here, click on the big button, find your PDF file. Over on the right hand side, you've got custom settings merge options. Put that on 20 to 1. That means if you've got up to 20 pages in your PDF, you're going to get a single image. Convert and it will take a little while just to create your JPEG. 
When that's done, click on download and it will save to your downloads folder. So we can go and find that there. And you can see it's a zip file. That means it's compressed. If you double tap that to open, you get a folder. And then inside the folder, you've got your receipt JPEG file, which is what you need to upload for your competition, especially if it's a Tesco competition, this is the kind of file that you need to upload. And if I just double click that to open it in Photoshop, you can see that it's one single long file with all the information that you need. Now let's see how to do this on an iPhone. So open up your email on your iPhone. Bottom of the screen, you've got the reply icon, the arrow. Tap on that, swipe down to print. Now you've not got an option here to choose PDF in the printers at the top, but if you use two fingers to zoom in on the preview at the bottom of the screen, that will open it up and you'll be able to save this. Tap on the share icon, bottom left. And if you go down, you can save to files on your iPhone. Save it in there. Next, we're going to go back to Working Tool in Chrome and tap on the plus sign and find your files folder here. You can see we've got the receipt saved and open at the top right. Again, choose 20 in one to convert to a single JPEG. Tap on convert. When that's done, tap download. And you can see a little bar pops up at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, tap on save and that's going to save that in your files. And then you can also tap open in and open in downloads and it's going to open your files on your phone. There's your zip file, tap once and it'll open it. And in your folder, you've got your JPEG file. If you tap to open that and then at the bottom of the screen, again, you've got the share icon and you can save image there and it's going to save it into your photos. So when you need to upload this for a competition, you can see there it is in your photos. And that is your long JPEG.